Today we are gonna see how you can dump a file on your ECU, how to update it and how to flash it back. First of all, you want to get into your car, turn the ignition on, plug in the OBD link into your computer, into your vehicle as well, and um, yeah, then you're ready to go. After you've done that, you open Vetronic can flasher and um, you then should be able to click on get ECU info. And this might take a little moment. But once the connection is set, you should get like all these kind of information. So you get a calibration set, uh, you get your win number and so on and so on. The only reason why I have no win number set is because the ECU I'm performing this on is brand new. So yeah, anyways, the first step is to read the ECU. So you click on read ECU and now you will be asked how you want to name the file you're going to read out. I'm going to call my file just read and I'm going to save it on my desktop. Click on save and the Johnny Cam Flasher should start. As you can see, the reading now has been completed. This process can take anywhere between 5 to a maximum of 10 minutes. If it's going to take longer than 10 minutes, I would definitely recommend to recheck the settings you've made for the cable. If the settings are correct, it might as well be that your battery is really weak and you might want to test it soon. On the other hand, if anything goes wrong during the reading process, nothing will happen. In the worst case, your ECU is going to be stuck in the bootloader mode and to get out of it, you simply have to do a power cycle, which means to disconnect the battery for a few seconds or pull the fuse number 2 in the engine bay. Once the reading has been completed, you will end up with two files. Of course, you want to open the .bin one. So I make a left click and a right click and add it in the 8 suit. Of course, I have a link to the Tronic suit in the description down below. Once the file has been loaded, you will see that the symbol list should appear on your left. So, to start, you want to click on Actions, then Win Decoder, and copy the Win number. I just replaced this binary so that the Win number appears. Then, after you copied the Win number, you click on Actions again, open the file information, and you want to look at this, the software version. Now, you want to open TIST to web in your web browser, which I will add the link in the description down below, and enter your WIN number in here and click on Get Cal ID. Then you want to select ECM, Next, Programming, Next, and when prompted for the hardware version, you can pick any you like. Personally, I'm going to pick the latest one, just that I have the latest binary as well. Click on Next again, Next, and there you go. In the description, you will see what changes have been made. Sometimes more than that has been changed, but you are not going to be able to see it because this will only show you the latest changes. So you can click on History, a new tab will open, and you can see all the changes which have been made. Close that again, and the number you now want to keep in mind is this one. You will find the new firmware in a so-called GBF file. I will link the GBF in the description down below. It's going to be a zip archive with numerous files. So now we got that number and now I'm going to open my GBFs. And now that I have the GBFs opened, I have to look for 55569 663, hold on. Here we go. This is the new GBF file we need. So as you can see, this is the exact number as shown here. And I'm going to copy this one on my desktop as well. 
once this has been done, it should appear on my desktop. Let me check. There we go. And now we are back in Metronic Suite. Click on File, Create Binary from this file. Going to select our read first, you know, the file we just done from our ECU. And then now we select the GBF file. And now you will be asked how you want to call the new binary created by this. I'm going to call it read underscore updated. A new file has been created and I'm now able to open it. So I'm going to do this, then click on find the information. And as you can see, the new software version has been loaded. Once you've done that, you want to open the Tronic hand flasher again. So you're back in your car now, you have turned the ignition on, you have connected the cable. So the first thing you want to do to make sure that the connection is existing, you want to click on get ECU info. This might take a little while again. It's going to print all the information. Once we have done that, we want to click on flash ECU and the Tronic hand flasher will warn us that we should attach a charger to our vehicle and our computer. Of course, you should make sure that your battery is charged because this process is very crucial and important to run smoothly. You don't want any interruptions during the flashing procedure. I'm going to click on OK. And now I will select my updated binary. So, the Tronic Cam Flasher will now start to upload the bootloader again and will compare which fields have to be deleted and which have to be rewritten. And as you can see, the flash has now been completed. You successfully updated your binary.